Hey guys, Arsh here back in the video. So today in this video, I will be showing you how you can connect a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor with Arduino Uno and display the data on the serial monitor. So this will be a pretty easy and nice project. You know, you can work out how the DHT11 sensor works with the Arduino library. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so for this, I am using the Arduino Nano version in this case. You can also use the oh, Arduino Uno version over here, but uh, Currently, I don't have the programmable cable for it, so I actually forgot it, so I'm not using it. But uh, the theory is, I think you can say the same because the pin connections over here and pin connections over here are the same. The code is the same. All you have to do is just make a minor adjustment in the ID that is to change the board from Uno to Nano or vice versa, whatever your case is. You can also use the mini or the mega version as well. Then we have the DHT11 temperature sensor. So it's a pretty tiny and cheap sensor. You can basically get two readings which are the temperature and humidity. So for general purpose application, I think this is the best option. And to connect it, of course, we will need some jumper wires to connect it to the Arduino. So now let's see how do we connect it. So first up, let's power up the DHT11 sensor. First, we'll connect the VCC to the plus 5 volts on the Arduino Nano which will be right over here as you can see it has written plus 5 volts so we will connect it there and if you are not able to follow don't worry I have given the circuit diagram the code everything is given in the description below so you can check that out then we will connect the ground to the ground of the Arduino that's pretty straightforward Now finally we will connect the data output which will give us the temperature and humidity which is the middle pin over here to end of your pin liking only it being the digital pin so for this case I am using the digital pin D3 but you can use any digital pin you like. So after connecting the board now we can go ahead and program it and check the serial monitor. So after that you can connect your board to the laptop or computer whatever you have and upload this code to the Arduino board so I'm going to explain the code here and then we will upload the code and we will see how it performs on the serial monitor so first of all you have to include the DST11 library and if you don't have that you can just go to sketch and then go ahead and click include library and then click on manage libraries this will open up this small window and update the library indexes then on the search bar you have to type DHT11 and then here you can see we have the DHT sensor library which is installed on my Arduino IDE already so this will provide you with the DHT11 and DHT22 sensors capability and you can measure temperature humidity and whatnot from these two sensors so just install it let and as you can see right now it is showing update or it will show install over here so right now it is grayed out but uh, in your case if it is not installed then it will say install over here so after installing it just close the window and then the, your first step is complete then here we have to define the DHT pin which is 3 in this case as you can see and this could be any pin like I have said before any digital pin you like and then underneath here we have to define the DHT type which is going to be DHT11 in our case obviously if you want to changes to DHT2 then you can simply just do that but for now I will just put a DHT11 then here we define our DHT sensor so we have DHT pin 3 and the DHT type 11 and you can directly put them here but I just put them separately so that uh, it is easier, easier for you to change and modify the code and then in the word setup which will only run one time we have the serial begin at 9600 baud rate and DHT dot begin this is just a library function that uh, initialize the DHT sensor and then in the loop function we can see we have quite a few codes so let me just go through it one by one so delay 2000 that means that it will create a delay of every two seconds so you don't get just spammed with the sensor data because the Arduino Nano I think works at 80 megahertz frequency so you can imagine how many times the sensor is going to work out so you can add a nice two second delay so that in every two seconds you get the temperature reading and then here we have a humidity integer that will take the humidity reading from the sensor 
and also the temperature as same and these have to be float type because th these are going to be decimal values so that's why you have to use float type otherwise you can just simply use an integer type and here you can see I have set it at false that's because I want the temperature reading in Celsius but you can set it at true just like so if you want readings in Fahrenheit but uh, I don't want that so I will keep it as false now this code here is uh, optional but uh, if any of the temperature of the humidity sensor is not read from the sensor then it will simply print this text which is fail to read from DHT sensor and that's how you will know that uh, your sensor is not reading data or anything like that so if you don't want it you can just simply delete it but uh, for the sake of this video I will just leave it in and then here is our main thing that will print our uh, temperature and humidity data onto the serial monitor so we have temperature then it will print temperature in C and then after that it will print humidity in percentage so now let's go to tools and select our board which is obviously the Arduino Nano obviously you can choose from many different boards here and then select the processor which is in my case at mega 328 now after that you have to select the COM port which uh, in my case is already selected with COM port because that's the only device I have plugged in right now but if you have multiple COM ports then you can just go to the start button and right click and then go to device manager this will open up this small window and then you can see that here is the ports option then you can just uh, go to the drop down arrow and from here you will be able to determine in which com port your arduino is plugged in so in my case it's the ch340 com4 and because it's a knockoff arduino that's why it is not showing as uh, arduino over here but uh, from the list you will be easily able to determine which is the arduino uno or the nano in my case so as you can see the com port is now selected to 4 so you can just go ahead and simply upload the code by clicking on this button so this will first compile the code and then upload it to the arduino uno so as you can see it's now says done uploading so that means our code is uploaded to the arduino now we can go ahead and go to tools again and open up the serial monitor which is which you can also do by pressing ctrl shift and m so as you can see directly now we are getting values at every 2 seconds so currently the temperature is 31.10 degrees and the humidity is 62 percent so i believe that's uh, pretty much accurate so let me just uh, try to blow on the sensor so that i can increase the temperature and humidity so let me just do that right now so yeah as you can see the humidity instantly went up to 95 percent and the temperature to 34 degrees so the sensor is working pretty perfectly and let me just show you if uh, I disconnect the sensor from the Arduino board so it will just show that fail to read data from the DHT sensor so as you can see that part of the code is working pretty fine as well so let me just quickly reconnect it and as you can see we are now getting the values again so there it is guys that's how you can measure your temperature and humidity with the serial monitor and using Arduino so thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment down below